This is Greg Durfler from Open Source Skateboards, and I'm going to show you how to lay back air. All right. The neat thing about this trick is that you can work up to it. That is, you can work your way up to full extension little by little. You're going to want a quarter pipe four feet or higher and already be comfortable with front side early grabs, or ollie airs. You'll grab the middle of your board with your front hand, mute, and put your back hand on the coping, thumb under the coping. So if you're regular, you're putting down your right hand on the ramp, and if you're goofy, you're putting down your left. As you approach the ramp, you want to be crouched in early grab position, and as you reach the lip, you're going to lock your arm, peel away, and swing front side, allowing your lower half to turn and invariably swing back forcefully into the ramp. Think of the ramp as continuing past the coping, and you're riding out that imaginary, invisible transition, only at an angle. Maybe it's an imaginary vert or oververt bull corner, your front side slashing. However you picture it, the ascent is a natural, fluid motion that picks up where the ramp left off. With the right sweep angle and leg extension, the motion is somewhat self-regulating and speed tolerant. And like a boomerang, the trick has to be thrown just hard enough and physics will return you to the ramp every time. More speed will of course allow you to extend further, or even fully, but it also makes the trick faster at lower extensions with wider swings. The most important thing when starting out is getting a feel for the swing motion, which means using the locked arm to your advantage. Use it to slow down the trick. Drag it out. See how long you can keep your board off the ramp, even at modest extension. Don't worry if your feet aren't above your head yet. Then allow yourself to fall back into the ramp. This last part, falling back into the ramp, is probably the hardest part to learn. Ironically, once you figure it out, it's easily the most reliable part. Landing is just part of the boomerang. As you become more comfortable and push upward with the trick, the angle with which you approach the lip, particularly when going for maximum extension and hang time, becomes the real gamble. Pulling the trick back in, you'll discover, is the easy part, and with practice, you will be able to land laybacks of medium extension every time. And as you begin doing higher, more extended laybacks, you're going to want a little more speed, and you're going to want to sweep more upward instead of outward. You're going to lean back a little more so that you pause and twist at the top. For me, I lean a little to the ramp's left. Be careful though, or you'll fall on your head. Anyways, once you really get layback airs down, you can try fun variations like removing your back foot from the board, adding a finger flip, a double finger flip that you accidentally catch melon, layback sex change, this weird thing, a lip bounce when you screw up, and the waffle flip. And that's it. So thanks for watching. Until next time, and probably even then, I'm Greg Durfler with Open Source Skateboards. Have a great day.